All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are going to the closest Walmart to Walt Disney World property. Already almost got into an accident getting here. Almost uh, walked into an accident there. It is pretty chaotic over here. It's right off of, yeah, it's right off of uh, 192. We're gonna go check it out, see how busy it actually is. Might check out the golf section, the fishing section, the Disney section. Who knows oh, what we're gonna find, so? Let's go find let's it. Let's go find it. Literally almost died like five times. The cars around here, oh. oh. Needless to say, let's go see what's inside. Whoa, there's an optometrist in this Walmart. That is not something you see every uh, day. Oh, after you get your eyes checked out, you can check out these ears, 997 on these. Oh, that was a good dad joke for you. Oh, that was a bad dad joke. It means it's perfect. It's a perfect dad joke then. We got a bunch of uh, Mickey ear hats. We got some fanny packs over here. Oh, look at the Mickey mini bow one. That one's uh, pretty cool. We got some uh, misters over here. Oh, you can actually buy tickets to the parks here. You can buy them at Disney, Universal, and SeaWorld. Oh man, check this out. So much Disney plush. This is gonna be Disney overload to say the least. Well, you can get your whole crew decked out over here. You got dad, mom, you got grandma and grandpa over here. Oh no, this is a grandma and grandma. Oh, you found a grandpa. Man, they have tons of stuff in here. Oh, there's like a spirit jersey looking thing over here. Let's see, eh, it's not spirit jersey, but it kind of looks like it. Yeah, $27. I think the uh, non-special edition spirit jerseys are like $80 in the parks right now. Got an all over print Mickey. They've got tons of stuff in here. Got a little uh, stitch love over here. Man, check this out. Got a bunch of uh, water bottles, multiple different kinds of salt and pepper shakers. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that is uh, super cool. If you guys are at Disney and looking for some uh, cheap merchant, well, there's nothing cheap at Disney, no. but if you're in the Disney area and looking for something uh, cheap, definitely check this out. I don't know. Jerry Lay. Why has it got this guy's Only name Jerry's up? Jerry's can buy that. <laughs> the Disney section is literally never ending in here. It goes all the way from over there where we were looking at the uh, grandma and grandpa shirts and then all the way to the end. You got kid Ooh, yeah. stuff over here. More of the uh, Mickey ears. Oh, this is kind of cool. A little uh, Mickey Mouse uh, dress. Oh, she's tropical. Whoa. Tropical vibes in Florida. We got more fanny packs. This is fanny pack overload. This is what you guys subscribe for, just fanny pack reviews. We got some Disney kitchenware over here. Man, you can get your whole house, your whole family, basically everything head to toe. You can get Disney oh, literally boxers. head to toe. You can get some uh, Disney boxers over here. When you're feeling grumpy. Yeah, when you're feeling grumpy, $11 for some uh, grumpy underwear. Oh, I've never seen these before. I wonder if these actually work in the parks. It's a Harry Potter mystery wand with the Patronus spell included. Icon and wand stand. There's nine of them that you can collect. It's got like the universal uh, ticket thing up there. I wonder if this actually uh, works in the park. I don't know. It's almost worth trying that out. Fourteen ninety seven. Yeah, I think to like build your own wand is like over a hundred dollars. Yeah, I think so. Which would you rather do, build your own wand or build your own lightsaber? Oh, that's a tough one. I feel like the lightsaber though, because then it's also like you can use it as a flashlight. It's yeah. Convenient. You can definitely tell the uh, Target audience here. Tons of travel stuff. We got some luggage. You can even take your leftovers home. Oh, yeah. Good to go. <laughs> we got some uh, universal travel adapters for people flying in from uh, different parts of the world. We got a luggage scale. Got a bunch of uh, different lightning to USB cables over here. Well, I shouldn't say a bunch of different ones. There's multiples of, of the, the same thing. thing. We got some uh, random phone cases for some reason. Oh, we got a digital Ooh, luggage scale. Fancy. Yeah, we got the uh, neck... Uh, headrest thing going on neck over pillow. there. What, what is that thing neck called? Pillows. Neck pillows. Neck pillows. That sounds weirder to say. Yes, it does. This is something that we haven't seen before. There is literally two aisles of pool floats. So they've got some uh, pretty funny ones. We got a cupcake one. We got a llama one, a pizza one. It always like funny, like your big break in uh, modeling is to be like a pool float girl. Some of them have like the funniest expressions. <laughs> They're just on like a bizarre float. Look at her. She's just chilling. Look at her. She's yeah. comfortable. It literally looks like she's asleep, but uh, there's another aisle over. Let's go check it out over here and see what kind of pool floats. We got a pool float. Man, imagine if they have a clearance. There's French fries. How do we miss that one? But uh, imagine if they have a clearance aisle. Mm, well, I, I don't know if you would think that stuff would sell so fast here that yeah. they probably wouldn't have one. But uh, stay tuned. If we find the clearance aisle, we're definitely going to show you that. This is two whole aisles of pool floats. Oh my goodness. There actually is a clearance aisle. This is... Well, they got some weird stuff in it. We got rat kill over there. We got some teas. Whoa, what are these? Survivor mini teas. Lowest ball spin, greatest overall distance. Oh, independently tested by the golf lab. Oh, there's a lab. <laughs> Laboratory. I almost got that one mixed up. What do you got? Just mango. Oh, those, uh, that brand is really mm -hmm. expensive. What else do we got in the uh, clearance aisle? An oscillating sprinkler. Another sprinkler? Man, sprinklers are not a hot seller here. 
Well, it's because everybody's a tourist here. Yes, pool filter. Oh, so we got, we got bees wrap? I've never seen this before. Oh, it's actually used a little plastic wrap. Huh. That is very interesting. Never seen that one before. We got uh, scupper plugs for your uh, kayak or boat. I think I totally pronounced that wrong, but I happened to know what it was. <laughs> we got yellow jacket wasp and hornet traps. This is a Nerf blanket. So when you get hit by Nerf guns nonstop, yeah. you can, you know. Rest up. Rest up. <laughs> I don't know where you're going battle. with that. I was like, what about dad jokes? Like, where is this one going? <laughs> going? Yeah, a lot of stuff basically for like a lawn, but it's all tourists here. So not really a uh, hot set. Oh man, that's a really good deal on universal kayak cart. Yeah. $45 on that. We have found those at uh, garage sales. And they're usually about $45, so that's a good deal on that. I was just making fun of you for not knowing where I was going. I was in the middle of a sentence. Whoa, check that out. Pool float for the whole family. Yeah, but they're like on a lake. I would never go out on a lake around here on a uh, float. No. What else we got? Well, the clearance section. We did get some teas, though. And we both got lost in our own stories. That's only we can. <laughs> not seeing anything crazy in the fishing section that you wouldn't find at your uh, normal Walmart. See if there's any like high-end reels or anything like that. Whoa. Recording in progress. Uh-oh, we're gonna get in trouble over here. Oh, I haven't seen these before. A real tree bait casting combo. It's kind of a funny that wind grips also makes uh, fishing and golf grips, but a golfer has, it's been around in golf a lot longer and you would never buy a uh, wind grip for your uh, fishing uh, pole. They wear out so quickly, yeah. especially in uh, Florida. But uh, yeah, fishing section. They have the basics. Well, the fishing section was a little underwhelming. Let's check out the golf section. This is the most starter sets that I have ever seen. We got some Odyssey putter covers over here. I've seen these a few times at uh, Walmarts. What else do we got over here? We got a tee up golf, bunch of uh, junior stuff. What are these? Oh, some emoji uh, golf balls going on. Exploding golf balls. Oh yeah, there you go. That'd be a uh, make for a uh, funny video. Oh, you got multiple exploding golf balls. Just in case you didn't. Oh, this is a uh, gender reveal one. That one's kind of cool. What else we got over here? We got some alignment sticks. Just go to a uh, Home Depot and get some, what are they, pavement? Pavement, pavement market. Markers. Yeah, they're like a dollar a piece, but to us golfers, we'll spend money on anything if we think that it'll make us better. Got some vice golf tees. I haven't seen these uh, here before. Oh, we got some uh, vice gloves over here as well. I always wondered, like Vice going into Walmart, they were kind of seen as like a cool uh, direct-to-consumer mm. brand. If it hurt their brand going into Walmart, the products are still good, but... Yeah, yeah. they still feel pretty premium, so... Yeah, pretty premium, that's what we're looking for. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I always like their uh, logos and everything oh. like that. We got a bunch of uh, golf balls over here. It looks like a ton <laughs> are uh, sold out. That's got a lot the, of selection over Yeah, in. we got the uh, Vice balls, we got some cut golf balls, got the recycled ones, no Pro V1s in, got the title as Velocity, some Chrome Softs. Oh. One of our uh, first uh, big videos on the main channel, we had the uh, pink nitro golf ball review. That was a terrible video, but I think it got like 140,000 yeah. views, so. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> you weren't even in that one. Was it was pre-Ashley. Yeah, comment below if you're an OG uh, stat golf fan and remember that one. It was just me rambling without <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> that lady got a really good deal on pumpkins. It's, what is, Halloween's tomorrow. Yes. There you go. She needs to get to work if <laughs> Remember we done. went to the uh, pumpkin patch and they had those? I was like, why are they selling giant onions? <laughs> no, I've never seen a white pumpkin. <laughs> it's like the uh, Parks and Recreation. We already made that joke. Yeah. Parks and Recreation. Uh, What's this cauliflower? This broccoli's dead. Yeah. Speaking of food, let's go check out some food. We'll go check it. Oh, man, they have a, uh, I thought that was a Subway. It's a Wayback Burgers. I've never even had that. Definitely have to uh, try that out. Whoa, we ended up getting the Oktoberfest and some Cajun tots in a regular fountain drink. They actually have a uh, brewed tea over there. It's so busy in here. We managed to find a little corner to uh, film. Also, we were gonna pick up those $2 teas, but the line is like 45 minutes to get them. So maybe it'll go down by the, yeah, maybe it'll go down by the time we get out of here. The Oktoberfest burger. I think I'm going with the tots first. You're going with the tots first? The pro move. Oh, those look good. Did we get Cajun ones? I thought well, we did. Yeah, maybe they'll taste Cajun. Maybe they don't look Cajun. There. Oh, there's a Cajun person in there? <laughs> Is it Cajun? No seasoning. That's what I meant. All right, let's check out this Oktoberfest burger. Oh, pretzel bun. I think it has onion rings on it, too. Oh, wow. We got two sides. One came on it. Oh, yeah. Look at that gooey, gooey, cheesy mess. Oh, look there's at that mustard. mustard yeah, too. that looks ridiculously good. Oh, man, that smells good. Here we go. Oh my lord, it's very, very good. <laughs> Fitting with the shirt. Oh man, that does look really good. Oh man, that's incredible. All right, I'm gonna try it out. Is it still busy? 
I think we should be okay. Yeah, we don't want to film a ton of random people. No. Man, look at that thing. That bun is it's incredible. Like listening. Was it too mustardy for you? No. It was good? Did it have a good umami flavor? Yes. Mustard blended well. That's oh my gourd indeed. Oh my gourd indeed. That is. I'm so sad this burger is probably going away tomorrow. <laughs> That's one of the best fast food burgers that I've ever had. That's ridiculously good. I think it's loaded too. That's yeah. why, because we saw somebody else what their how big their order was, and I was like, I think we'll be okay splitting that. Yeah, I tried to convince Ashley to get mac and cheese bites. She was yeah. like, I think we're gonna have enough food. She did convince me though, because there's onion rings on here. Yes. So we got quite. two sides. Yeah. It's two sides built in. I think the cheese is his own side too. I think it's super cheesy. Just like our jokes. 